But they said, you didn't lose your hair. I said, no. no. Yeah, ke chemotherapy is brutal beyond words. It's, uh, a, it's also a racket, you know. Well, I don't know whether it's a racket or not. But, uh, you know, we, can all, we can have conspiracy theories about anything and everything. Well, I mean, the side effects are brutal. Oh. <laughs> Well, not just chemo, though. Every drug you hear on yeah. TV, possible side effects. Oh. They rattle them off, and it's very possible. And sometimes death. Sometimes death, right. I was laughing with the nurses today. I said, whoa, 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 go back to that death thing. <laughs> yeah, I said, whoa, let's talk about this. Yeah. Well, well, the new drug now it stimulates the immune system to, what it is. to attack that's, the cells. That's what I did. To, what I did today, Jimmy, is immunotherapy. Okay. It's just the opposite of chemo. Like any poison, yeah, which, which which most likely breaks down your immunity. They keep the out of everything. This is immunotherapy and what it does. Now I I've seen the commercials on the immunotherapy. Yeah, and instead of going every week for two weeks of this, I go every three weeks for this. But I've got to go back next week just to have a loud. A yeah. meeting, huh? No, I was just said the TV's loud. No, it's not. Oh, okay. That's how I put it this morning. I did that. And even everybody else, they said, is that loud enough? I said, I think so. What do you all think? Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Not loud. My kids. In fact, it's not loud enough. Yeah. You can hardly hear it that much. Well, no, no, no drug is free of negative side effects, but but if you're weighing out the pros and cons, well, you're doing a, you're doing well, the best thing. I doctor next week, but I don't have a uh, 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 an IV. I just go to see the doctor. He's going to do my blood test and look how things are because they're. Yeah. One of the side effects of this drug is, uh, is the, uh, um, it can really affect your thyroid, but it's only 1% of the population. Thyroxine production. So he said, uh, probably checks your killer T cells. He said it's 1%. Your white blood cells. 1% of the public gets this. He goes, yeah. He goes, I think you'll be fine, but I want to monitor everything. So anti antibodies, white blood cells, but kill. It's immunotherapy. Leukocytes. Yeah. 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 No, it's immunotherapy, yeah. Which is a smart way to go. That's what that maitake mushroom extract does. Well, you know, the know Asian well mushrooms. That, I don't know how well that does that. That's, yeah. that's alternatives, and alternatives don't seem to be working that well. But well, it depends on the severity of uh, the illness. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to work that well. Otherwise, everybody would be using it. Yeah, now, now, don't, now don't forget the drug companies have a big iron claw uh, on uh, on you know what gets out there. Well, no, they don't really because a lot of these other companies too publish all these articles and all this stuff, but you never hear testimonials where it says, "Oh, I was cured by shiitake mushrooms and this and that." You used to, then it you used to. You yeah. fell by the wayside because they weren't getting cured. Yeah, you know who was. Uh, remember sharks don't get cancer. You know they who found sharks do get. You know who was charged uh, of uh, nutrition fraud. Uh, what's in the bottles, not on the label? You'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't. C CVS, Target, GNC, Walmart, and Walgreens. I told you, uh, they told me twin We're layup. caught. Sogar, quality is going way down here. No, no, I mean literal fraud. I told you, yeah. you don't know what you're buying. It stems and twigs. And they feel, they feel how many people have access to a lab or have the time or money to take a vitamin or herb to a lab, a supplement. Well, no, a lot of them don't. A lot of these are independent labs that take it on their own. They'll grab any bottle or any random store and test it. Right. And they do that. That way it's very unbiased. And they find out it's just crap. It's yeah. drunk. You don't know what you're... I double, told they call it, years, you don't know what you're buying. They call it the, du the double blind placebo where's study. Your, where's your money going? I did a placebo as a goof in college with a guy. My friends and I, we rolled a joint of pure oregano. Oh. And sold it to a friend for 50 cents. He said, be careful. This is the strongest crap you will ever oh, smoke. Oh, God. Knock the hell out of you. He got wasted. That's like when Ralph Cramden uh, had the grape, uh, Alice put the grape juice in a bottle of wine and they got bombed with the grape juice. Our persuasion. Placebo effect. The well, that's what mind they, control. Yeah. Well, they for, always use a placebo. Friend of mine at Wagner was a kung fu grandmaster, Asian man. Yeah, and he, he got very sick one night at a party, and that's rare that you see them show any feeling. He didn't feel good. He said, "Just leave me alone for ten minutes." He went over and squatted Indian style in a corner of the room, facing the corner. Oh wow! He went into a trance, came up, he was just fine. His mind control. Got him out of this whatever was bothering him. Well, look at, look at the uh, the yogis in India that that put spikes through their their yeah. flesh and they their blood don't come out. They then don't again, bleed. Again, I had how many 
one one guy I had to put to bed one night. He got so damn drunk. Huh. Yeah. So a couple of guys I said, "Come on, <laughs> I said, you're going to bed." Well, they also they also walk on hot coals. I took him back to his bed. You know, pulled his pants off because I had to, and my buddies were there. Oh, I got to lay him down. I love you, Billy. I, said, I love you too. I said, I love you too. Yeah. I said, I really love you. I said, I know you too. Okay, I love you. We were laughing. I said, get a good night's sleep. <laughs> then I pulled the covers up and got him in the bed. What if you do that for friends? Well, he, yeah, you don't want anything to happen to him. Pants. Yeah, I took his pants off. So what? I left his underwear on. I, he, I put putting him to bed. He could hardly walk. What do you want me to do? That's like CPR, like... Uh, oh, yeah, you'd leave somebody alone? I said, you're a moron? Somebody needs help. Yeah. I gave him help. He's a friend of mine. I would have done it to a stranger. I mean, I mean, those people, like I mentioned before, walk on red hot, co red hot coals without getting burned. Yeah. There was, I saw a video of a uh, Kung Fu Grandmaster, a, Sha a Shaolin. He was an old man. He was pulling, they were like tug of war on both them. sides. On both sides of it. But you take care of your friends. You take care of people. Well, yeah. Oh, this administration uh, with promoting that kind of mentality? What a joke. You know what article I read today? No. That a, a man was saying that his mother's, his elderly mother's deductible under under the Trump administration was quadruple. I had a class quadruple. Of friends here in the morning who said their, their sons are alive today because of Obamacare. Could you imagine somebody on a fixed income having their deductible quadrupled? I wonder what Eileen has. Over a thousand dollars, several what thousand. Eileen have? I have no idea. I ask her if she comes here. She's another one that says. Hi, buddy. How are you? What happened to uh, old Joseph and Skip, huh? Oh, how rude that was. But I'm even saying anything. I think he honestly left. Do you care? No, but I'm not surprised either. I don't care. You say goodbye to him, all he does go. He grunts at you. Yeah, I mean, you have. I don't care what you do. The woman's deductible went from a thousand to like several thousand dollars. I mean, and and we're supposed and the United States is supposed to be really doing great and prospering. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, sure. Every nation doing great and prospering. Yeah, sure. That's why it's my fault. That's why they create blues. Why people smoke. That's why the media is is controlled. By the, not by the oligarch? No. What do you doubt? Yeah. You'll never find a, a station like CNN where they always have both well, sides. Well, actually, like CNN. Both sides represented. They argue. And I tell my people they love Fox. Fox is not news. No, it's, it's satire. It's a communist station. It's well, fascism. Fascism. It's propaganda. I said CNN is not known as a network of record for nothing. And I said, watch it when I had her on here. I said, come on. What have they said wrong? Nobody can ever answer. What have they said wrong? Nobody can answer. You all don't make sense. You know, you notice. You know, this morning. Yeah. You know, my buddy Mike here and Ethan over here. Uh, fucking Nancy closes. What problem? I don't dislike her. What has she done wrong? Well, nobody said anything. I said, Mike, what has she done wrong? Eat it? Why don't you like her? Probably a teabagger. I said, are you on a bandwagon, all of you? I said, what has she done that's so bad? Nobody could answer me. Can you? Um, I don't know. I don't have enough information to make that term, well, the judgment. Apparently she's not that bad, but there's not information going around her. What has she done bad enough for you all? You, you I, I know that. I know that Trump just just blabs out. You know. Well, well Trump, what, what, you, no, he, Trump, Trump is not of sound mind. He's proven very sick by psychologists that have observed him. Oh they yeah. Said he suffers from extreme. The other one they say extreme. Extreme paranoia is a moron. And delusion. Sean on Fox. He's whoa. He's sick. Rush Limbaugh, these talk show guys are nutcases. So Rush Very, Limbaugh. very sick. And that other guy. Oh, what's the other guy? The weird weirdo. The real hate hateful of everything. He hates everybody. Can't remember his name. Name a few. Is he from Fox? Na I no. Name a few. He's got a radio show. You mean show? I know one thing on CNN. Any any guess Chris Cuomo has? He doesn't hold back. 
He, he unloads. Not just any of them. Name any CNN. Uh, Stel Stel Stelter. Brian Stelter. Brian Stelter. All of them. Jay Tapper. They dig on you when they ask you questions. People are afraid of CNN. A um, um, Anderson Cooper. Is he? He's on CNN, they're right? All, they're all full of them. You find anybody that's weak on CNN. You find sickos, oh, you find on Fox the sex abusers. That asshole O'Reilly, that moron. Oh, he retired, uh, I think. Or right, they got rid of him. The other moron, uh, uh, who else was it? The, old, the, the chairman who died, uh, Roger Ailes, that moron, <laughs> sexual abuser, another one. You don't hear this at CNN, do you? Difference between no. being professional and a rank amateur one. And you, and you notice Fox hires women to, to get ratings, like a car dealer commercial. Well, They're well, all big well, breasted. And, and you wonder why Fox has watched more than any? It just shows the mentality of the country. And why, again, back to what I said, there's more mental illness out there and prevalence, and you can realize there's mm -hmm. And everybody agreed with me this morning. I said, you've heard me for years say, I do not agree in the right to vote. When, when I, when I, I think I, you should be tested, like an SAT or whatever, to show that you have the right mind and intelligence okay. to render a valid decision. I, I swear this happened. When I voted in the last election recently, this guy with a long beard came in and he said out loud, I'm a radical and I have a complaint. And the ladies say, well, what's wrong? How come the sign outside is in English, Korean, and Spanish? You know, why why saying, isn't it just English? I was saying, you know, and I'm Bugs Bunny. Eh, shut up. So what? It's in Korean, it's Korean and Spanish. On the, I says, isn't it English on top? Yeah. I said, sir, you want us to call the cops for you? <laughs> I know what he was trying to get at. I'm not going to waste my time with you. But I know what he was I'm getting at. I'm not going to waste my time with you. Yeah. Sir, would you like us to call the cops for you? I tell you, we're not going to waste our time. Would you like us to get the police here? I know, he's, he was being like, oh, this is... Would you like me to get the yeah. cops for you? That's how you put them right to this. And the, big, the biggest lie coming out of their mouth is Christianity. There is no God. They're, they're not Christians. They're not Christians. Okay, come shut up. Well, well, did they ever hear the saying, you have to walk the walk, not just talk the talk? No, I don't know. Just, just don't preach your crap to me because there is no God. How big is this guy? This God? What's he look like? He's six feet tall? 600 miles tall? Oh, he's immense. Is he? How do you know? Well, the universe is immense. So that means he's, a, he's immense? How do you know? I don't know. But why'd you say that? Uh, it's just a logical uh, no, guess. No, it's not a logical guess. Uh, Who knows uh, how big is he? He's not a logical guess at all. You know, South Park did a, uh, 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 a show about that. Off the you know, these people have these... That's why this one religious guy used to come in here. He doesn't come in anymore because I, I challenged him. I said, what would you do if you found out your God didn't exist? So what makes you think he does? What, what if we found out we're just a big uh, extraterrestrial experiment? I said, we are. We Look at ancient aliens. This is probably like a reality show. We were put here. We all the races that we came from different different, different species now, different. stop getting off the subject what? no i'm not getting but off the subject I, I told him i said, I said well, you believe in your god but why towards what end what do you expect to get out of it you think he's going to take you to your heaven or whatever because you believe i said what do you get these, these thoughts from Oh, and I challenged him. He didn't know what uh, to answer. And I said, listen, uh, excuse me. I said, no, nah. you just don't make any sense. He's they have no it. evidence. Well, the ancient alien does. They, they do nothing but give evidence. They take it. They show you the pages from the Bible, Quran, or whatever. And they say, and here it says, and here it says, and blah, blah, blah. And whatever. They show you. They take yeah. it to these places. The writings on the wall. Yeah. And the whole thing. And there's no, and there's no way in ancient civilization. People, they don't like, people like religious people don't like that because it scares them. There's no way an ancient civilization can take a block of stone weighing several tons and, and elevate it that high and place it perfectly. Sure there is. With help from aliens. With help, yeah. Uh, uh, anti, they did. An anti-gravity device. How can, they, how can they do the what carved stone that that these lasers can't copy or do? You can't even stick a razor blade in, in between the stones. That's how perfectly they fit. You know? I said, what makes you think your God exists? Like you said, did, did God create man or did man create God? Man created God. Ask your amulet. I've known that many times. Ask it tonight when you roll. 
We hate the same story. I told you about the thing. The Egyptians will not wear it. In case he said it was, he won't. the Egyptians will not allow it. The Egyptian government will not allow it to be opened by the foot of the Sphinx. You notice that the great library of Alexandria, Egypt, was destroyed, was deliberately destroyed? Not just that one, many others do. Many others do. But do you also realize everything done before even man was on this planet, there are video, cop, and audio recordings of it? Wow. You know how I know? Uh, I knew. And I verified it with the end. Go ahead. Go home tonight and do it. He's really right. Is there a recorded history, video and audio, audibly, of everything even before man on Earth? You know, what, Mars was much more plush than Earth ever was at one time? Yeah, it got, it got hit by an asteroid and... Well, we don't want an asteroid. What? Well, because Mars is not perfectly round. It's, there's a, you know, a flat they part. They said it was more flush than Earth at one time. Now they found bacteria on Mars this week. And, uh, well, on one of those shows, um, archaeologists and proved... Mars, you know, is not called Mars. Back then? Now, I'm sure they well, had their own... In, in throughout history, it's that's not what it's called. We call it. Yeah. I asked the amulet, can you tell me the original name one day? They said yes. And you do it through process of elimination. I see. Is the first letter an A? No. Is the first letter a B? You go on down. That's how you eliminate and get your letters. U utilizing the pendulum, yeah. These people don't get it. They now, said it was more plush than Earth. Now, this archaeologist proved that you don't have to go that far deep to find bacteria, fungi, and moisture. She, she went, Where? she, Mars, they found it. no, no, I'm saying she, this archaeologist, archaeologist went to de the desert, I think in um, Mojave, or, or Egypt, I forgot, she went between two sand dunes, she dug down, not far, all of a sudden, moist, moist soil, so what, was like a few we feet down, this. so the same, well, she was comparing it to the Martian uh, uh, landscape, well, she was saying that it's possible for moisture and life to exist not that far down, because they say Mars is bombarded Mars was with more, radiation. I just got through telling you Mars was more plush than Earth at right. one time. But they don't have the um, electromagnetic I also, field. I also told you what a number of our moonwalking astronauts yeah. said. This, this thing feels hollow. It feels I saw. Hollow. I saw that show. So what does that mean? What does that mean? The moon could be an extraterrestrial craft. And that's the point. They saw they saw structures on the moon on on certain side of the moon. Why have you never seen the dark side? People are ignorant. Yeah, um, have a cigarette. I'll be back. Yeah. People are, are ignorant. They really are. Yeah, dumb. they um, yeah they well, well Mars lost its uh, electromagnetic uh, fields. No, no, I forget what it was. And I asked the amulet. Was it due to this? Was it due to that? Was it, I forget what it told me, but it. Uh, yeah. I forget what it was. Not. Environmental, I don't think. Because the radiation is bombarding the Martian uh, but it was something, surface. So what destroyed Mars? And I asked a number of questions and went down and answered. Use your amulet. The wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Right All right. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, I, I think of the other things I've discussed with people in the morning. Yeah. I said, I hear all these morons too talking. Oh, someone just said a bad word. I said, what's a good word? You know, a bad way. In what way is it bad? I said, would you please tell me about the word fuck? Why does an entire book this thick of Barnes and Noble about the word fuck? But before you do, tell me what fuck means. It's probably a slang term. It's a British legal term for unadulterated carnal knowledge. We're the ones that threw it into the damn word. See how ignorant man is? I said, you, you don't even know what you're talking about, you people. I had, I, you don't get it. I had this guy that I know get on my case about because he was offended by oh, my what comment. Mean? What do you mean offended? What I'm offended by it. Take it. Mean? It's besmirching my, my, my name, he said. Like no, 
In what way? Yeah, that's what I asked them. In what way? Everybody's saying, oh, that man over there just heard his name. You're a liar. Why do we have to be... I said you're a liar. Why, people have, why do we have to walk on eggshells? I said, I'm not working with you. I'm calling you a liar to your face. So now you can't give me the tough guy talk back. Are you calling me a liar? I just did. You just did. You're a massive liar. It's worth your name. Your name sucks ass. Nobody knows your name in this whole place. Where does somebody tell people know your name? Right. And, and I like the way people throw these sentences around. And whatever happened to the I'm And whatever happened to the First Amendment? And my friends all You can't like, express yourself. The morning, they know the words I hate. They know it wiles me pretty times. It's the word forgiveness and, and closure. Oh, 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 they see my face channel. Like, don't give me that crap. Forgiveness and closure. I don't believe in forgiveness. I believe in vengeance. Well, I, be I believe in honesty, number oh, one. No, I don't believe in forgiveness. Forgiveness? So what do you mean you forgive? I said, why are all these rash ass faces on TV? They have that face when they go, he's in, I forgive him, he's in God's hand, God will do it. So, fuck you and your smirk, number one. Number two, you forgive me. Forgiveness is saying it's okay. Yes, I forgive you that. You kidnapped, raped my daughter, cut her throat, and dismembered her body. For that I can't said, forgive. You moron, you're an idiot. That I can't and then they right up. I said, there's no such thing as forgiveness unless, except for ignorant, stupid people. I just, Closure, there's no such I thing. Ju I just think censorship is, is bad. And I said, time heals all wounds. It does not. Oh, you don't it, forget. No, time, it, it hides wounds. It doesn't heal. No, no, it hides said, You them. people and your, your, your sentences, you're off base. I said, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. Yeah, I mean, all, you know, my friends all get in the morning. They're like, "Here, don't, don't mention forgiveness to Billy. I don't believe in forgiveness. I believe in vengeance. Forgive you? Why should I forgive you? You can fuck yourself. I'm gonna get you twice oh, as bad. Oh, if you do something bad, I don't want to get even with you. I want to get worse on you. Twice as bad. Three times as bad. Forgive? Forgive? Oh, we forgive. He killed 12 people in that school. We forgive. Why? Are you that angry? You don't care? I don't get people. You don't care about the victims? They're, they're ignorant. They have too much faith in a God that doesn't exist. Is where yeah. it really comes out. And the, like I said, that smirk. He's in the hands of God. Shut up. Yeah, Shut I know, up. I know. I know. You all right? I don't need to hear your crap. Oh, that makes me madder than anything. I want to hear this. That stupid smirk. If I look at that smirk. Like well, that's a phone. That's a phony pretentious. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Yeah. That's the bottom line to you, really. I'm sorry, but I've got to call a spade a spade. You're an asshole. I just, I asked the, the, the young man behind the counter, what's, do they have the password to the Wi-Fi posted here? And he says they did away, they, the, the franchise owner did away with the Wi-Fi. They don't have it here anymore? He so says no. What was Joseph doing here? Must must have been things he already had on his um, on his laptop. This owner doesn't know shit about him. I mean, this guy's a moron. Oh my god, he doesn't fix. He doesn't like fixing the men's room. He doesn't forgive him. This guy won't fix a damn thing. If somebody does evil, I don't think I I can't forgive him. I'm sorry. If somebody does evil, I cannot forgive him. Could you forgive your ex girlfriend if you cheated on you behind your back? I forgive you. I go no, you, you, I want to do it. you you subdue it, but you never forget. I mean, you no, you. I wouldn't. I'd say I'm out of here. Right. Stay with somebody yeah. like that. I mean, proven cheat, not would just assumption. Stay? Yeah. I mean, come on. Would you stay with somebody like well, you that? Got, well, you got to prove stuff. No, 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 no. How can you trust? Because how can you trust? I'll give you. Oh, we're back. We're working on it. Well, it always takes two to dance a tank. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? No, no, because obviously one and one is dancing differently. Apparently, if a girl cheats on you, you cheat on the yeah. girl. It takes one. Right. Whoever said it, it takes two to tank. What is that? Like, mean? like let, let's say a, a man dates and marries a control freak, and she drives him stark raven right mad, crazy. And she pushes him away, farther yeah, away, farther away. You're driven to it. Right, exactly. That's what I meant by well, two. Well, that's a different, different reason behind it. But what if you just cheat because of 
if you're happily married, but you come across to meet another beautiful woman, it's hard to resist. But th that's no excuse because you, you took your marriage vows. Well, these guys you got married. Families raising kids in other states too, and they're still married. I mean, come on, there's all different. You see what I mean? There's all different circumstances. I, I know of people that have several kids because they they don't believe in contraception and they don't pay child support payments. That's it's like that's like the, the ghetto mentality. Well, how do they get away with it? The ghetto What's mentality. The making you pay. Or Octomom trying to get more welfare by what having more kids. Her? Yeah, what did happen to her? Didn't get her that much, did it? Here's a woman who got a prescription for fertility drugs and, and she already tits. had four kids. And big tits. And she had four kids already. Now, how does a doctor give you fertility drugs if you already have four children? Right? And then she had, okay, she had eight kids. She had eight, right? So eight. Uh, nine she didn't even get on the reality show for very long. Nah, what she happened? was... happened? People got sick of her. You had the other stupid show, that John Keith Plus 8, that ball. Oh, the, what about the Honey Boo Boo uh, mother? Oh, that's that slob. That fucking ball. She had jowls that were almost down to her yeah, navel. Yeah, but yeah, but she added, like, she acted oh. like she was inbred. She acted like an inbred hillbilly. Oh. Hick. Nauseating. You ever hear like the uh, the trailer park trash that shops at Walmart and they have pictures they of? Them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, she was hideous. But that's supposed to be entertaining. To some people, it was. Jimmy, they watched it. Me? At, le at least Todd Chrisley. Me? I couldn't even look at. At him. least Todd Chrisley is entertaining. Who's that? Chrisley knows best. It's a reality show. Never heard. Of it. It's a family, rich family, very Never funny. Heard of it. But you know what I respect about Todd? He 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 started off with nothing. He self-made. From doing what? Real estate in Georgia. Oh, he's from Georgia. And then they moved to Nashville, Tennessee. Never heard his name. Yeah, he's he's a very funny guy. But, but you know, I respect self-made people. I don't. They should be killed. <laughs> no, as opposed to silver spooners like Thurston Hell the Third. Reality shit. I just don't. I just don't like. It. Yeah. Well, you here in the morning could be a reality show. What do you think about? I just don't like reality shows. Well, ho hopefully they're reality. They're not. They're scripted. Don't kid yourself. Like, like you know, there's a show called Afraid and Alone where they put people like naked on a, on a deserted island, a couples, and they have to survive. Well, they're not really alone because there's camera people from the network following them around. <laughs> They're following them around, so I could have be you know, naked. If something happens, they've got a helicopter standing by to fly the ball. I've seen that happen on the news. Naked, afraid, and alone. Something like that it's called, uh, the, re the show. Naked, afraid, and alone. God, these stuff is stupid. Well, damn, you have, you, 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 have, you have camera people following you every which way. And like you said, oh, uh, Bear Gorillas, you know, the, uh, the guy. He Remember him, the survivalist? He's no, he's still on, like, Discovery Channel or something. They don't even advertise him. No, no, he's sure his show is still on. Now he, he takes celebrities how about, out. How about Anthony Bourdain, huh? Poor guy hung himself like, like Robin Williams. But you're right about, he said that you never know the roof is leaking until you walk inside the building. In other words, you think somebody... You always think the grass is green or green. Or your own wrong. Fame, fortune. Look at Robin Williams. He he was scheduled to do a movie. He banged out two movies. He was scheduled to do another movie. So what? Rich, famous people love them. It wasn't about money. People love them. It wasn't about money. He yeah. had mental issues. Well, that's why he was all coked up all the time. Oh, and I heard uh, you told me Bourdain had a problem with heroin. Well, he admitted that. He said, I'm a heroin addict. He talked to people in the show about it. Because I was a heroin addict. Well, I don't know about was, but, you know. They say he killed him. A friend of mine said he heard it. Bourdain killed himself with a little girl. What a stupid reason to do that. Oh, that's why some articles are blaming his girlfriend, Asia. Uh, uh, she was screwing everything around. And he found out. He fell in love and found out he killed himself. Why not just say, well, I wouldn't even say this one. No wonder why I she... wouldn't call you anymore. I'd leave it. If she ever called, where have you been? No, I said, I've been busy. No, no wonder why she won't grant any interviews about his death. Oh my God. I don't know how true it is, but my friend this week, Mike, told me. He said, it was over this bitch. Oh, Are you serious? Oh, yes. oh my God.
That's horrible. But it's all, but it's also pretty stupid to end your life over. How do you see why I never got married? Well, first of all, you have peace of mind when you go home. Now, if, well, you can also call escort service if you want. Every day, Jimmy. Well, you got if you're every day. Yeah, but if you're compatible with somebody, every day. Well, it's good to get it's good to get your pipes cleaned every day. Every day, the same person gets boring. Again, I repeat to you, every day, it's boring, Jimmy. Maybe that's just my personality. I get bored easily. Remember when I told you about the IQ test? Blah blah blah. It's boring. It's every day. That's not. I can't take that. Yeah. Well, that that's where unconditional love comes in. I love them very much. Every day. I can't do it. No. Well, it's, no. it's well, it's hard work. Monogamy is. You got to work at it. Why is the divorce rate sky high, Jimmy? Because people are maybe the human being isn't built for people one, are la a lazy the same thing every day. They're lazy. Are they? Well, they're too lazy to work at it. Who knows? Especially Americans. Every day. Oh, I can't. I just no, no. I just can't. Well, you know, you know what, you know where I see problems like with my brother. You know, he can't do anything without getting permission. Like so married? Yeah. But he, he has two young daughters with her, so she's got him by the short hairs. No, he's fucked. Yeah, yeah. She she admitted he's had. She admitted that she's after his business, his auto body shop. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. She don't cook. She don't do laundry. She don't clean. She uh, she don't work. By the way. Who's your, who's your friend? No neck. What's his name? Brian? What? Oh, he got divorced. Oh. Slate. Yeah. His wife was a control. Slate. What is he? Flintstone. Well, that's his real name. Are you kidding me? It's a cartoon. Well, well, not like Mr. Slate, the boss. Yeah. But it's spelled differently. Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, his it still wife. sounds the same, muchacho. Okay, well, Slate. Hey, muchacho, his wife wanted to told him, I don't like your friends. Why do you go to the gym and work out? Why don't you stay with me and and have pizza, coffee, and cake, and we're hanging and watch You're TV? Right, I, I was looking for the guy. Every day. Did you know? Did you know he? She? She followed him to the gym one time and was sne was peering through the window to see if he was talking to any girls. Did you know she did it? No, no, Brian is not a good-looking guy. He's not a hunk. You're saying, right? He's not a good-looking guy. What kind of girls would you be talking to? And that voice? Oh, yeah, that's gonna draw you. To me. Excuse me, I'd like to talk to you. Excuse me, dear. You think that is going to attract a woman? Would you want to hear that voice if you were a girl every day? Well, he gets girls. He got very drunk girls in Hoboken in a, in a, in a dance club. Very drunk. No, I'd like to go one night with him and see what he does. Yeah. Because I had a friend of mine do that one night in the thing. He was talking to the girl. I said, oh, how? Come on. He goes, oh, we can't really get laid. I said, you know that fucking getting laid? Hey, hot shot, you better wake up and sober up, okay? And he stood there. I said, don't give me your shit. He didn't know what to say. Yeah. Well, what's that country western song, Girls Become More Attractive at Closing Time? Something like Something that. Like that. Yeah. 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 Girls become much prettier at closing time. Turn out the lights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, William, Sir William, what am I going to do with you? Ay, ay, ay. What am I going to do? I met him. What an oddball. And Bob the Bob the accountant. No, I met he was a, a customer of mine when I was working with seafood, Brian Slate. He uh, he uh Did he come his, in like that? No, his wife would go do shopping and he would never follow her around. Gee, I wonder why. And he would come to bullshit with she me. Like small fat, right? she, she was uh fat with a lot of cellulite on her legs. Oh. She she was very like uh, you know, the cottage cheese, the yeah. dimple, yeah, yeah. But she was like she would boss him around. And I guess it was like, it was like an outlet to him to come and talk with the guys at the, in the fish department. And that's how I met. Oh, but what, when his wife came by with the carriage, oh, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go. Can you imagine if I got him on the football field 
No, he was shivering. I gotta go. Can you imagine if I got him on the football field? How come when he used to talk to me on the phone, as soon as his wife, wife's car pulled up, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Why do you say, why do you have to go? Richard, well, why did, uh, uh, after the frozen, the frozen Italian food, uh, we went to their house up there. Tom. Oh, uh, Mike Celentano? He couldn't, he was not allowed to use the phone unless it was on speaker. That was a nightmare. That's insane. When he, when he went for an, inter went to, uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting over here. Yeah, he pulled, pulled his, Said, oh, and his oh, mother's oh, in the car. Mother, no. And you know he allows his mother to listen in on every time I, I talk. I told you, the speakerphone. Oh. He's not allowed to use the phone with his own speaker. He's sick. This is sick. This is this is a sick obsession. You know what I'd love to do? Now I know why the father goes in the I basement. I would love to secretly set him up with a hooker, a prostitute. The fox says, I find you a chocolate. Let's go out and go out. If the mother insists on coming along, have the mother in the backseat. And had the girl, I said, I'm sorry, I would say, tell him, tell him one, say, pull over. Pull over, start sucking on the mouth. See what the mother does. She freak out. No wonder why the father had a man, escaped man cave in the basement. It was all airplanes. Did you know I... You know what I always wondered? Mother was so odd. What was his father fucking thinking? Why did Listen. He, you wanted to go to, you want to go to bed with that? Listen, I saw a show one time where... This guy was like 27, 28 years old. It was his birthday. Oh. His birthday was coming up. He was in Las Vegas. He was in Nevada. And his mother took him to like the Mustang Ranch. And she was in the room negotiating the menu. Like in other words, the prostitute had a menu of services. The mother was sitting on the bed. And the 27-year-old son, the birthday boy, was sitting next to her. And she was negotiating. What she was going to pay. The same devil wants him to grow up fast. He's 27 already. He's not a lady. But why does his mother have to be in the room? Because he doesn't know any better. In the bordello. He doesn't know any better. Jimmy, how do you... Come on, Jimmy. Age does not mean you grow up progressively. Some people just never learn. Yeah, like Tom Celentano. Like my dad said. I, you can't get through to people. You remember what Tom Celentano said to me? Please take the video off because I'm afraid of offending someone. Here we go again, walking on eggshells, afraid of offending someone. Here we go again. Can you imagine, like, like having to go through life walking on eggshells and being afraid of? How will he ever date? How will we ever meet a girl and get married? No girl would put up with that. I'm telling you right now, not even one day. If 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 he had, you know what she told me, the mother? It's called respect. Uh, she says, uh, We should have gotten a girl knowing it's on speakerphone to call him because he knows on speaker. And the girl would say, Tommy, I had a lovely time. I hope your parents never found out what we did the past few days. Oh, you hang up my phone right now, Tommy. You know, she, you know, she told me if Tom meets a girl before they actually go out on a date alone together, they have to come over for Sunday dinner. I, I, and sit with me. I have to approve. I have to. She told me that. Well, before the first date. What did she like? Whack him off? You never told me that. Did she like whack him off? Hey. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Oedipus complex, man. You don't know. You Th don't does know. she lay his underwear off him when he when he takes a shower? Would you be surprised? No. Okay. No. I, I swear this is what she said. She had. You know what I said? You never told me. And that. I says why. I says, why? He's over 18. I she said, you gotta leave it. Let him grow up. She says, up. she says, it's called respect. I says, no, no it's, it's not. not. It's called ignorance and stupidity. You let him grow up and take his no, lumps. it's called a sick obsession. Let him take his lumps. It's called a sick obsession. Your little, your mommy strings all of them. And, and you know what? Go, go to your husband, suck his fucking dick. Let Tommy go out with who he wants. And some wives are like that too. Comes back to me. Every day. Ray DeSantis. You know they're not even on Facebook. Neither of the two. I can't well, find them. Smart. I can't I agree find with that. Them. That's smart. No, I wanna. I wanted to. When she first came in, before they ever dated, it was it used to be Casa Maria down here. Remember? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
one of Ray's roommates. Remember they shared the house with four guys. Was it? Yes, the Garden State Plaza. Yeah. Became paparazzis or something. Okay. We should go to Casa Maria's. So me, Dave, Rich. Dave was one of Ray's roommates in the house in Ridgewood. So Dave and I, these two girls walk in. Dave teased me. Goes, oh, here are yours. I said, fuck you, that's yours. Hi, Ray. Oh, we geez. both went, oh, my God, no. And he ends up Who was the other guy, Carl? That was a friend. He wasn't a roommate. Yeah, but oh, he had a... Nice guy. Oh, he was a nice guy, but his... Super nice but his, guy. But his girlfriend was... Oh. Oh. And then, um, uh, yeah, his uh, Ray DeSanctis' his wacky girlfriend... Annette. What, Annette is telling me that, you know, you, that Raymond, poor Raymond was abused as, they, as he was typing a, a screenplay. That you abused him. No, you know what the truth is? She did, probably didn't want Ray to have any friends. Or the to only go, time go I out. touched Ray, which was legal, was when we were playing football. I'm allowed to block and hit you. She must be nuts. She's got to be I nuts. never, I did everything to defend Ray. I swore on my mother and father. Well, when she told me, it was too bizarre for me to like... It's not my nature. I said, why would he... <laughs> A grown man like Ray the Sanctus, why would he do? Love Ray like a, but still does love Ray like a brother. They went to L.A. together too, to Hollywood. They they travel. They did screen. They made screenplays. The uh, and then you told me about a guy, from, a Canadian guy who like bailed out on on Super Tech. Some guy from Canada. Uh, you it was you Ray and this oh, guy. Oh, that was the second go round. Right. After Ray screwed things up, years After later, I met Alan, Alan, yeah. Alan Lelouz from Canada. Yeah. 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 yeah well, Everything was going great. Yeah. Well, Ray told me if you're if you're a Gentile, it's really hard to to make it in Hollywood. If you're a Gentile, you know. Well, they loved us out there. Well, what is it? What, what, what is not to love, when you, to be honest with you? Because we were professional, well-dressed, not just, it's a mess. This is going to be a We walked in, shook your hand, we sat down at the table, he was about, blah, blah, blah. I did. Great didn't say a word, not even You saw word. how Falcon Jet was impressed with you? Remember the time we Falcon went to Falcon Jet? Jet? Right over here. By yeah. the Teterboro Airport? The Mirage, they oh, make the Mirage? We had, we had tremendous meetings in Hollywood. Are they still highly rated as a private jet? Yeah. Boy, I mean, don't lie behind my back. That's just rude. And don't exaggerate or, or make up stories. Right. And, uh... This has been a Mega Life 21 production.